And so, don't watch go crap. And welcome to our back to school night for this new academic year. Delighted to see you this evening and partner with you in the education of your sons. Let us begin as we begin all things here at John Bosco with a moment of, of prayer together. Creator God, we thank you. We thank you for your presence in our lives and your walking with us. And as we at John Bosco Prep, seek to walk with the young and their parents. Help us to create a true home that welcomes a school that prepares for life, a church for the young and the Jesus, and a playground where they can make friends and enjoy themselves. And we ask you, Creator God, to bless our families, bless the parents, and other family members of our students, and help them to know that in this unusual time, you walk with them as well in love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. St. John also pray for us. Mary, one of Christians, pray for us. And dear parents, I, I welcome you tonight to this wonderful, wonderful evening, and thank you for sharing your time with us this evening. We love your son. They're delighted to be back on campus and underneath the many masks, one can detect broad smiles, and we're grateful for that. Smiles on the faces of the young, smiles on the faces of our educators. Without any further ado, I'm delighted to present to you a true leader an educator of our school community, Mr. Robert Fazio, our president. Thank you, Father Jim, and welcome to all of our parents here this evening. I really want to thank Father Jim for his leadership and our entire team. Without him, this night would not be possible. A lot of work has been done, as you well know. We've been communicating with you with clear and constant communication, and I'm just so blessed to work with a marvelous team of educators and staff members who serve your sons each and every day. And as you drop them off each and every morning, you see us out there greeting them with a warm welcome, with an active presence. And during these uncertain times, there will be challenges that we'll be faced with. But our mantra is to adapt and overcome. There is no problem that will be put in our place that we will not be able to solve together. I want to thank you for choosing Don Bosco, and I want to thank you for the support that you've not only given me, but all of us. This is a magnificent institution of learning. I'm blessed to be a part of it, and I thank you for your cooperation and understanding, and navigating through this entire situation with us. We will prevail. We are Bosco. And at this time, our instructional leader, Mr. Manny Morell. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Dumb Up with Rep's Back to School Night. Um, I want to echo Bob and Father Jim in there. Thanks to all of you. You are your son's first teachers, and without you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you for choosing Don Bosco and for trusting us with your sons. Um, I also want to thank Bob and Father Jim for their leadership. Uh, Craig Gendoli and Chris Moore, our assistant principals, for all of their help all of our faculty, staff, administration. A special shout out this evening to uh, Ms. Jenna Rablick um, and the whole ComArts team, as well as Mark Simone and the whole technology team for everything that they've done to, to make this evening possible. To just briefly review the format of this evening's program, um, beginning after, immediately after our presentation, you will have the opportunity to walk through your son's schedule for the evening. Uh, earlier this week, you were sent a copy of the schedule and the adjusted times with our first class beginning at 6.18 this evening. The classes will follow eight minute in increments with three minutes in between each class. Now on a typical back to school night, you would follow your son's schedule by literally walking from classroom to classroom. But given our current circumstances, the next best thing is to go from Zoom room to Zoom room. So also sent out, just a couple of hours ago, 
was a copy of a directory for every counselor and teacher in their Zoom rooms. So during the appropriate time on your student schedule, you'll click that Zoom link and you will be allowed into the room where you will be able to hear your student's presentation. So for example, if your son has Mrs. Armin for theology, period one, then at 618, you would click the link from Ms. Armin's class. And at that point, you would be able to hear her presentation with three minutes in between each class. We do ask that you hold all of your questions this evening. And if you have individual questions to reach out to your teachers uh, directly by email. If your son has physical education on his schedule tonight, we ask that you take the time to attend a presentation with the school counselor assigned to your son's grade level, um, as noted in the document with the Zoom directory, in order to learn a little bit more about guidance programming happening at that grade level. And if you don't have physical education this evening, please reach out to your son's counselor directly and they can get you all the information. So again, I just wanna say thank you to our whole team, to our faculty and staff who are truly incredible educators, to our boys who are absolutely loving being back and to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and we are looking forward to seeing everybody back on campus next week. And at this point, I would like to introduce our Assistant Principal for Student Affairs, Mr. Chris Moore, who will speak a little bit about our safety protocols. Good evening, everyone. I wanna welcome you all here tonight. I wanna to thank you all for joining us. I also wanna thank all of our teachers and administration and staff for all the hard work they've done to not only put this night together, but also make this whole school year possible. These are very challenging times and I wanna thank you for your cooperation. I know things aren't perfect, um, but I think if we all stick together and we all work hard together, we can make this a great, great experience for everyone. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to kind of highlight some of the things that we've done so far and some of the things that I've seen. So we've had two weeks of our trial practice runs um, with half, half the school's population in at a time. And I, I have to commend your sons. They have done an absolutely unbelievable job in transitioning from what school used to be like to what school is gonna be like this year. There've been a lot of changes and they've taken everything in stride. And it's important for you to know that we as, as faculty members and administration are putting safety as the number one priority this year. Everything we do is gonna be based around what's the safest thing possible for your sons. So your sons have had a tremendous two weeks. Every challenge we put in front of them, they've, they've accepted and they've done an amazing job. And I'm very excited to have, for the first time in a long time, it seems like to have all of our student body on campus on Monday. It is gonna be an amazing experience and it's gonna be a, a great, a great, great year. So I, I hope at some point you have either read or will read all of the safety protocols we have in place. I think it's important that everyone knows what's being done and and understand that these that these protocols can are are subject to change and you know as as the CDC and the Department of Health updates on their end we we have to adjust on our end so every time every student i've spoken to i've spoken to all the grade levels at different times and the theme that i've given them is it's not about you as an individual it's about us as a community so these challenges although are difficult, the protocols are difficult, wearing a mask is difficult all day. We need to think about what's best for the community. And I've made it very simple for the boys. It comes down to the three most important things, keeping the mask on, keeping your social distance, and keeping your hands sanitized. If we can do those three things, we will be in a great place. And so far, the boys have answered the challenge, and I'm excited to continue this process. I do ask for your cooperation as parents um, one of the challenges is going to be morning drop off and to make that process as smooth as possible. It is very important that every day you are filling out that health screening so we can get the boys checked in and in the building in a timely manner. So I do ask for your cooperation with that. We're all very excited um, for what we've seen so far and what we're going to see. And at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Jandoli, our assistant principal for Thank you, Chris. Don Bosco family, I'm so excited to be a part of this. You guys have been nothing but phenomenal in rolling out the red carpet for me. And I have felt nothing but love and support from the second I stepped on this campus back in June. 
I want to thank all the parents who sent many welcoming messages to me. I want to thank the students who have done nothing but go out of their way to introduce themselves to me. And I want to thank the tremendous leadership that I get to be surrounded by every day to learn from and grow with. So tonight, I just want to spend a little bit of time going over the extended learning centers and going over the rotations and going over the ad drop period. So as you have known by now, on your child's schedule, there are the extended learning centers. We are continuing to work through those. We are continuing to work through those rotations. Those rotations will be more solidified by the end of this month because the ad drop period ends on September 24th. So once students stop moving their academic classes, we are then able to finalize the rotations. So currently, if there are issues in the rotations where there's a kid who has five extended learning centers in a day or too many in a day, those will be rectified. We just have to wait for the ad drop period to end, at which point we will then be able to go in and manually fix those students who have issues in their schedules. Tonight, you are gonna be going through your child's schedule. You're gonna be clicking on the Zoom links, getting a little taste of what they go through as they go from in-person to Zoom. So at 618, you need to be on the first Zoom session. So when we log off here, please locate your period one teacher and then find their link in the directory. Again, thank you for letting me be a part of this Don Bosco family. And we wish you nothing but health and happiness. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy getting to know your son's teachers. Take care and God bless.